Hello everyone, and welcome to the most annoying builds per class on Destiny 2. Um, this is targeted mainly for PvP. Uh, these work really, really well in 6v6, um, and they can also work really, really well in 3v3s for obvious reasons, but we will get into those when we get to it. So we're going to be doing one per class, and first with our starting one we have is the Ye old Heat Rises De Dead Man's Tail build. So basically what this build is all about... Um, we're using Top Tree Dawnblade and abusing Heat Rises, so every time we use our grenade, it's going to improve our in-air accuracy, and we could just sit in mid-air for a very, very long time, as we all know. Um, pairing with that grenade is the Firebolt Grenade, because it takes the shortest amount of time to cool down, and has the shortest cooldown, so uh, that is why you're going to want this, because we are not going to be throwing our grenades, we're going to be using our grenades to pop Heat Rises over and over and over and over and over. Um, 100 discipline is necessary because as you can see now I'm getting my grenade back every 24 seconds, which is absolutely ridiculous So pretty much every single time I pop heat rises Let's say I sit there and get no kills every time I come back down I'm already around halfway to my next grenade so I could do it all over again You could do this with a lot of weapons I just think that dead man's is by far the most powerful weapon to do it with um, Especially like if you pair it with you could pair it with things like transverse steps um, You can make it even more annoying if you want and add things like uh, Wings of Sacred Dawn, which when we ADS will hold us in midair. And also, when you use this chest piece, you take reduced damage while you're in midair. So you'll be a lot tankier as well, which would also be really, really disgusting. But just because I think that um, transverses are better overall, I would stick with those. It also buffs that enhanced movement speed. Um, another thing to add with this build is that you can also Icarus dash around so you're harder to hit while you're in midair. And if they do get too close, I like to run a retail tail. Um, if you want to be even more annoying, Rocket Fusion Rifle, which is it's even funnier. If you Rocket Fusion Rifle, people get really, really mad at you. Um, people will... My experience with this, like people will literally switch their whole loadout to, to put on dead mans and try to outgun you. And because you have every single off angle, because... Let's be honest, nobody's going to be looking up like a mile into the sky to find you. It's like some people do and some people watch out for it. But um, a lot of these other players, they're not even going to think about it. You're just going to float above them, absolutely destroy them. And there's nothing you can do about it. Definitely on Warlock, this is probably my least favorite um, thing to play against just because of how annoying it can be knowing that the Warlock has every single angle to his advantage in midair while you do not. Definitely something that I would try if you have all the uh, tools necessary to run this. The next build that we have is a classic Stasis Hunter Revenant, um, as you can see here. Um, this isn't actually the final build. Um, I don't have, I barely plan my Hunter, as you can already tell. So this isn't exactly what I would run um, fully, but we will just kind of describe it and show you an alternative um, as well. So first off, Stasis Hunter. You can also run Invis Hunter. That's also very, very annoying. Um, Stompies, as we all know, just jump around the whole entire map and uh, bunny hop everybody and just absolutely obliterate people. But that one is annoying, but I do believe that there are things that are even more annoying. Um, for instance, this and Wormhus Crown. I think Wormhus Crown is extremely annoying in PvP just because like when you're in a duel and somebody get you make is gets weak, they just dodge, get like... I don't know, like 25% of their health, maybe more than that, and then uh, just come back around the corner and uh, absolutely destroy you. So nothing new you can really do but against that. But I don't even think that one is as annoying as this other one. Um, this one is more uh, prevalent in PvP, or um, 3v3 PvP, I should say. Um, but I actually do not have this exotic because, I again, I barely play it. The Renewal Grasps, everybody knows them. Everybody really hates them, except if you're a Hunter main, then you love them. So basically what these do, your dust field grenades have a much larger effect radius. Allies inside the dust field have reduced damage and targets inside the area deal reduced damage. So what does this mean? It means you, uh, if you sit on your dust field nade, you will be unstoppable. You are extremely tanky. You, um, your allies get tanky and people do less damage, which is really, really, really annoying. These are extremely busted right now. In 3v3s, you can literally, if your favorite lane is somewhere like if your favorite lane is right there you can literally just throw a dust field right at your toes use the crystal as like a cover and then just head peek people and there's nothing you people can really do about it 
Um, and if you're going to die, just dodge out of the way. It's really not that hard to do. Um, I do think this is the best way of, uh, or the best build right now for Hunter um, in PvP. Things to add, you would probably want Matt as high of discipline as you can get. Um, just because that way you can get your dust field back as quick as possible. Um, this is the dust field. It's, it's got like a minute cooldown, but that can easily easily be reduced down to a lot lower with the right build and uh, with the right stat distribution so keep that in mind um i think that this is one of the more annoying ones is more so in 3v3 as i said but uh yeah i think there's nothing more annoying than um sh shooting someone for one less damage and two somebody who's just tankier than you and there's like nothing you can do about it and like if you have the right build like if you're using like demolitionist hand cannons and weapons you can probably have your grenade back like after every single like almost every single fight which is absolutely insane so keep that in mind if you really want to be a cock if you really want to be annoying and you're a hunter main definitely try this build and as for our last build, you probably saw it coming, the overpowered um, Laura Lee helmet um, Titan build. The thing, the thing is with this build is it's extremely, um, I want to say it's very flexible in what you can use. So basically the whole like thing is, is when you have that helmet, um, when you're critically wounded, it uses your shield and um, it uh, pops a sunspot, you start healing, you get bonus damage and it's absolutely busted right there. So what people have been doing is, is they run as high of um, resilience as they can in running rally barricades because they uh, recharge quicker. You can use those to AD, to get bonus ADS, reload, stability, and range when you're sitting behind it, and you get the bonuses from the uh, from the sunspot. So those two paired together are an absolutely disgusting combo. Uh, it is one of the most annoying things to play against, but it's not that the helmet itself, like, um, is what makes it annoying. It's, like, the sunspots and the things that you can pair with the sunspots that make this annoying. And this and the Laura Lee just makes sunspots um, easier to get. Uh, so there is, uh, there is that. So people will literally just pop a uh, rallying or a uh, – just pop, just pop your rally barricade – and uh, go to town. There's a few things that you can pair with this. Um, pretty much any solar weapon works really, really well. So uh, Terraba is one of my favorites to run with this. But there is even more annoying things that you can run. Um, uh, more common ones include a multi-mac and something uh, like uh, Lord of Wolves here. This is also something that you see a lot because they just run it down and push you. And it's super aggravating to die to this. But even this can be um, not the most annoying ones. What I consider to be even more annoying is Ariana's Vow, or Ariana's Vow, however you want to say it. Because when you pop that shield, and you are in the sunspot, you can one-tap dome piece, people. Like, with little to no effort. All you have to do, place the shield, and uh, just aim for the face. And if you hit, they die. It's absolutely busted. Um, this It's probably the most disgusting build, prob like, right now in the game. And paired with something like a Multimac, which is an extremely good SMG. And if you have one definitely pick it up and use it uh this you can't get it anymore so i wouldn't i would keep that in mind you cannot get a multi-mac anymore so there is that but this is like one of the best smgs in the game even with the nurse coming soon it's it doesn't matter it's still going to be like one of the best things to use and it pairs really really well with this because you have that close to uh close medium and you have that far and you know what honestly ariana's you can use anywhere because like you can even use this thing like a hand, like a like a uh, shotgun, and how how do how do I figure that right? Like how does it a shotgun? You can literally just hip fire someone and then melee them. Like it's just boom boom, you're dead, and there's nothing you can do about it. Um, I'll probably have a video showcasing how overpowered this build is, um, in, probably tomorrow or um another day. I want to do this thing because I actually haven't had the time to use this build in it to its full potential. So I really really wanted to um run that. But in my opinion, this is the most annoying build that you can possibly run on Titan. And uh, that's all the builds that I have for today, guys. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you really, really want to cause some carnage, like be really, really annoying, be a cock in Crucible, um, these are definitely the builds that you should run, in my opinion, just because of how deadly they are and, and just how potent they are in 3v3s and 6v6s. But uh, if you guys all enjoyed, um, please leave a like and subscription. It would really help the channel grow. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.
Peace.